good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, good evening. Yes. Okay, perfect. I see five people in this beautiful class. Mr. Lino, welcome back. You were me. Hello. Hello. I come back. Were you sick? I come back. You came back. I see that. Perfect. Glad to hear that. Mr. Lino. Great. Let me check here. We're going, I'm going to send just a message to everyone so they can connect. Okay. Give me a moment. Ya no tenemos a nadie más. Vamos a, vamos a continuar, chicos. Okay, comenzamos aquí con la asistencia. Cristian Alexander Méndez Mejía. Cristian. No. Edwin Ernesto Luna Valladares. Edwin Ernesto. Elmer Alexander Recinos. Evelyn Guadalupe Lemus. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present, Miss, pero Miss, voy manejando, oye. Ok, ok. Got it. No worries. Eh, Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Ok. José Antonio Hernández Hernández. I'm here. Okay. Juan Carlos Lino Villacorta. I'm here. Catherine Johara Hernández. Catherine Johara. Ramón Antonio España Minero. I'm here. Okay. 
Rosa Wendy Portillo Peña. Ruth Abigail Brito. Present. Sofía Carolina Hernández Hernández. Present. Okay. Vemos. Stephanie Giselle. William Alexander Pañagua Mengiba. Present. Okay. Javier Alberto. Jennifer Abigail. Jennifer. Miss Teche, Yanira Guadalupe Teche. Okay, well, we are going to continue here with our class. Right, antes que comencemos, ¿alguien tiene preguntas acerca de las actividades que realizamos ayer? Teacher, aún voy en camino. Okay, thank you so much for letting us know, Miss Brito. Gracias por decirnos. Muchas, muchas gracias. Okay. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas acerca de la clase de, que, que, que tuvimos ayer? ¿Algo que no haya quedado claro? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan que hacer? Vimos bastante vocabulario. Vimos ejercicios de there is and there are. Right. ¿No hay preguntas? Eh, bueno, yo tal vez una pregunta. Hay adjetivos que signifiquen lo mismo, pero que se utilicen en, en sujetos diferentes. Como pequeños, es que recuerdo que la vez pasada... Yo dije una palabra que significaba pequeño, una compañera me corrigió que dijo que en esas no se utilizaban. Como, no me recuerdo cuál era. Es como que hay, short. ajá, y, ajá. Liro y small, que siento que son pequeños, es. pero que se utilizan en diferentes. No es pequeño, o estoy yo confundida. <risa> <risa> ok. Eh, me está diciendo little, esa es la palabra. Uh -huh. Ok. The thing is that when you use little, right, you can use little. Right? But there is an important difference between them, right? The difference is when we describe an, an amount, we use little, right? And usually it's an amount that we describe that is an uncountable noun, right? And when we, we use a small, it's the size of someone or something, right? So we have two, uh, two different things here, right? When we say a small, we can use a small for a person. For example, I am, a small, right? Today I saw a small person on the streets, right? My phone, my phone is smaller than the iPhone, right? So we have the word small, right? But then we are going to use a little, right? To talk about something that is not important, right? is an unimportant amount of something. So we're talking about uh, amount is cantidades, right? Cantidades de algo, no talla. Small is para tallas, little is para cantidades. For example, if I got this, I say, oh, there is a little dirt on my desk. Hay un poco de polvo en mi, en mi escritorio, right? And I cannot, I am little, no, right? I am small, right? Ahí va a ser una pequeñita diferencia. Entonces, lo que pasa es que tienen su, uh, un significado similar, pero no igual. Teacher, por momento se congela su imagen y se corta el sonido. ¿Ustedes me oyen bien? ¿Sí? Yes. Uh -huh. ah, pues por momentos se oye como robotizado. Por momentos. De verdad. Por lo menos yo tengo ese problema. A veces la oigo como robotizada, pero son instantes nomás. Instantes, ok. ¿Los demás me escuchan bien? Sí, sure. lo que pasa es que por, rato, por momentos sí se le escucha bien todo, pero de repente se, se congela y sí, se corta el volumen. Pero en ese caso, chicos, ha de ser el, 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 el weather, el, el clima, porque se ve que va a llover y no llueve. Pero ojalá que no lleva, ¿ok? Que me amo. Que me amo.
Ok, bueno, esperemos de que no nos falle esto porque la verdad que está malo el Inter, entonces. Vamos a seguir. Eh, ¿Alguien tiene alguna? Buenas noches, Jennifer. ¿Alguien más tiene alguna otra pregunta? José Antonio, ¿vi el video de la clase de ayer? Ayer vimos un nuevo tema gramatical. Eh, no, no lo, no lo he visto. Hmm. Pero sí, más o menos. Ah, vale, hay que verlo hoy, no se preocupe. No se preocupe, hay que verlo hoy. So, we're going to start working. Vamos, ahora vamos a trabajar. A trabajar. A tra <laughs> right? With the book. Ok, hoy vamos a utilizar el libro para ir avanzando. Ahí right? con lo poquito que nos queda. Let me show you here. Me avisan si pueden ver el libro, por favor. Uh, tan, tan, tan. It's right there. ¿Ven? ¿Ven el libro? Yes. Ok. Yes. Yeah. Very good, very good. Right. Now we have there positive adjectives and negative adjectives. Right. Tenemos adjetivos que son positivos y adjetivos que son negativos. Ahora, cuando decimos adjetivos positivos y negativos, no nos estamos refiriendo a la estructura. Si se fijan acá, no hay una palabra que diga not si no nos estamos refiriendo al significado del adjetivo. Por ejemplo, I can say, I have a big office. So in that case, the word big, right? The word big is a positive adjective. They say, mm, my office is very small. Right? Cuando digo small office, en ese contexto, mi oficina es muy Pequeñita, no me sirve, right? It's very small. So that would be a negative adjective. Entonces, acá presentamos adjetivos que son buenos y adjetivos que son malos. O sea, describen cosas o características malas de un lugar o una persona, okay? Now, can you read the positive adjectives, William? And can you read the negative adjectives, uh, Oh, José Antonio. Negative. Posi you read positives and uh -huh. José Antonio is going to read the negatives. There are comfortable rooms. Okay. There is Sigue él o sigo yo? No, usted lea todos los positive adjectives. Oh, okay. There is a huge parking lot. Mm -hmm. There are nice places to rest. There is a illuminated training room. Okay. Very good. So can you continue with the negatives, Jose? Negative adjective. Mm -hmm. There is a area. There are a small office. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly. There's a smelly living room, like smelly. No good, right? Very good. So we got there our examples. Yes. Okay. We have our examples there for positive adjectives and negative adjectives. Now, let's take a look at these exercises. Exercise five. We are going to create sentences using these words. For example, a small gym. I will put here, using there is and there are, right? There is, let me put it here. There. There is a small gym in my city. Okay. There is a small gym in my city. You got it? Right. That's for me. Now, is this positive or negative? Positive. It is positive. positive? There is a small gym in my city. 
It's negative. Negative. It's negative. Right? Who wants to go to a small gym? Nobody. Right? Now we go there with, let me see. I'm going to check a tiny, tiny, tiny cubicle. Right? There are tiny cubicles at Reforma Cinema. Have you ever gone to Reforma Cinema near University of El Salvador? Right, they are very tiny, the spaces where you can watch the movies, right? So there are tiny cubicles at Reforma Cinema. So those are tests. For me, this one is negative too. So what you're going to do is to write your own examples. Everyone is going to have different examples, right? So let's just start putting them there, right? Comencemos a escribir nuestros ejemplos, por favor. Put your examples in the chat. Write your examples in the chat. Escriban sus ejemplos en el chat, por favor. Do you finish? Me avisa cuando hayan terminado. Let's see here. Tomorrow, open new training rooms in, the, in San Salvador. In San Salvador. Very good, Lizette. But use the reason there are. Use the reason there are. There is. Ajá, uh -huh, there is and there are. There are a clean cafeterias in the mall. Now, let me ask you this, Mr. Lino. A clean cafeterias, can I use a with cafeterias? No, it's not. No? So how will you put it? There are? Clean cafeterias in the mall. There are clean cafeterias in the mall. Okay. What about the others?
There is a new training room in my house. Good, Ramon, very good. There is a new training room in my house. There are clean cafeterias in my city. Uh -huh. Very good, Jose. Someone else? Put your examples there, please. The only one that I know that is driving is Miss Gabriela Arevalo. She cannot write. But what about the others? Sofia, William. Oh, Brito de Carrillo is driving too. There are many training rooms in the school. Good, Abigail. There are many training rooms in the school. Excellent. That's a good example. There are unpleasant bathrooms in the city center, yes. Okay, now, now that we have this, right? I need you to write, we're gonna do number six, right? You already know how to write positive and negative sentences, right? I need you to write sentences related to your office. Ms. Aquino, can you read the instruction in number six? Tell a partner. Tell a partner a description of all the areas in your workplace. Take notice about your classmates description to share later to the class. Okay, very good. So first, what we're going to do is that you are going to write descriptions about your workplace, right? Using additives, right? Now, let me go ahead and give you right now some vocabulary for describing places. Give me a moment. Is opening right now. Give me one moment. I think I think you can see it. Can you? No. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna show you two pictures right now, right here. Right, and tell me if you can see it, right? Tell me if you can see them. Oops, what happened? Here, and the other one is here. Okay. Oh my goodness.
ओके Can you see the picture that says here adjectives to describe places? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Now that we can see it, right, we can see here, right, that we have words that we can use alive, amazing. We can use beautiful, bright, right, calm, colorful, creepy, right, and different words that we can use like spacious, dazzling, evocative, right, to describe a place. For example, I work from home, so I cannot say that my workplace is fresh. I would say my workplace is very hot. I always need to have like a, like a fan or something to, to give me air, right? So do you understand what we're gonna do here? Do you understand those adjectives? No? Entienden esos adjetivos? No. <laughs> okay, no, no, no lo entienden. Right, it's okay. Algunos. Algunos nada más. It's okay if you don't, if you don't, uh, what, understand those adjectives, okay? That is perfect, right? Let me go ahead and put here some like uh, definitions or of some of the words that we have that we can use, right? <sighs> Give me a moment, because this is taking too long. Recuerden que pueden utilizar el, el, el diccionario que les envié, right? You can use also pictures, right? You can use pictures to, to understand what they mean, right? what each of these adjectives mean. There's no problem with that, right? Okay. We have some adjectives here. Let me show it to you, right? We have here, some of them that we worked with them before, alive, bustling, calm, charming. These are the, like the meanings. For example, alive is full of emotion and excitement, right? Full of things that we want. Just give me one moment. Lo siento, chicos. Lo siento que este internet me está molestando bastante. Uh, so we have peace direct. Peaceful is quiet and calm, right? Peaceful, right? So we have different words there that we can use, right? For our uh, descriptions. Estas son las definiciones, okay? De cada una de las palabritas. Si está en inglés, right? No van a estar en español. Si está en inglés. Creo que tengo una en español y en inglés, pero no sé si mostrárselas, la verdad. I don't know if I, if I should show you that. No, I will not, probably. Why not? <laughs> Because they are, they are uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you their examples, right? But in the in the chat, okay, in the chat. I cannot show it to you here, right? Let me show you right now the link. It's there in the, do you get it? There, in that specific link, we have like examples of the words being used. Ahí vemos los ejemplos de las palabras cuando ya se están utilizando. Right. ¿Lo pudieron ver? ¿Lo pueden abrir? Right. Yes. Ok, perfect. We have the words being used there. Right. Por ejemplo, utilizamos ahí la palabra contemporary. 
que significa modern, very up to date. Por ejemplo, podemos decir that la Gran Vía is contemporary, es moderna. Right. En el ejemplo que tenemos ahí, ¿qué es lo que dice? Manchester is a northern city with a very contemporary modern feel. So estamos describiendo, right, eh, Manchester. Y solamente debemos de ver si ese adjetivo en esa oración es positivo o es negativo. ¿Ok? We just need to know that. Right. ¿Entendemos, entendemos cómo lo estamos usando ahí? Yes. Yes. Ok. Perfect. Perfect. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda? Los adjetivos, eh, chicos y chicas, es prácticamente vamos a tener los adjetivos para describir. Y no son cinco, no son diez, no son cien. Son un montón. Ok. Son un montón. Entonces tenemos que irlos tratando. Aquí está el inglés y español. Ya lo encontré. No, please. Vamos, no, no me la abrió. Falsa alarma. No, no lo abro. Ok, how would you describe your office? Right, how would you describe your office? Right, eh, there. Well, how is your office like? Is it positive or negative? What well, adjectives would you use? ¿Qué adjetivos utilizarían para describir su oficina? Adjetivos buenos, adjetivos malos. What would you do? Hola. Good adjective. Good adjectives. Good adjectives. Ok. For example, ¿cuál sería una oración que ustedes crearía, que crearían acerca de su lugar de trabajo que sea positiva? Por ejemplo, la mía voy a decir, no voy a la oficina, pero sí la conozco. Ok. There, algo, algo malo. There is a small parking lot. Okay. There is a small parking lot. Hay un, un, un parqueo tan chiquitito, chicos, así chiquitito. Right? So there is a small parking lot. Right? That would be for me. What would you have for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is the is this uh, what there is a is there is a deserted my office. ¿Qué queremos decir ahí? Desierto, entiendo yo que es desierto, bien solo pues el lugar. Ah, okay. ¿Qué, pero qué queremos decir? Es que no, no, no. Que es que es bien sola la oficina, o sea, que no hay casi nadie ahí. Ah, como que desde casa, eso es lo que... Ok, very good. So, there is, there is, oh, there are deserted offices, right? There are deserted offices. Porque están solas ahí, right? Very good. So, it's peaceful, right? It's quiet. Right, what else? What else would you write there? Right, your examples, guys. Traten de escribir cosas positivas o negativas de sus de su, de su lugares de trabajo utilizando the reason there are.
We just have, let's like, example, the Senorita Kino, the Senor Lino. There is a hot place, okay? Or oh, there are hot offices, maybe? There are hot offices? What else can we say? In my, in my workplace at Inglés Corporativo, there are clean offices and there are very peaceful offices. Peaceful and quiet offices. Everyone is just with earphones working, sending messages, making calls. It's very nice, actually. It's very quiet. There is a small, there is a small workshop area. There is a large reception area. Ah, large, because it's one. Mm -hmm. It's one, you're right. What, what else, what else? Yes, yes, you can say that. There is a powerful internet connection. Internet connection. There is a powerful internet connection. Hmm. Netflix en el trabajo. Yo veía Netflix en el trabajo. Por eso no quisieron que fuera, me gastaba el internet. Me gastaba el bando de ancho. El ancho de banda, el ancho de banda. Mentira, ya creen. Me creen capaz de ver Netflix en el trabajo. Sí, ¿verdad? La novela ahí, ¿eh? Pasión de Gavilán. No, 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 no. Ramón Antonio, yo sí veo esto. Vea. Veanlo en inglés. You're practicing. La teacher me dijo que viera Netflix en inglés. Dígale ¿Ah? esto. Se me manda en Zafor, dígale, ¿para qué me manda? ¿Para qué me manda si ya saben cómo soy? Dígale. <laughs> ok, perfect. So we got there, right? Our example. So thank you so much. Right? And we are going to continue here with other descriptions, okay? Ya casi nos terminamos ese libro, señora. Mañana va a ser pura práctica, okay? We're going to go here to page 45. Vámonos a la página 45. Right? 45. And we're going to do los pica piedra en inglés. Oof, yeah, that would be nice. The Flintstones. Flintstones, ha, the Flintstones. Ha, da, da. Yeah. You're going to see Pebbles, Friends, Velma. Okay, now we're going to move to another topic. We're going to keep practicing right now, right? With this, right? With, the, with employees information. Now we have a car. This is a batch. Este es como los batches que nos dan a nosotros. De, de, del trabajo, right? Si quiere trabajar en call center, le van a dar un voladito señora, para que lo ande ahí, right? Hola, teacher, vengo, hola, teacher. Vengo llegando a la casa, lo siento, pero aquí estoy presente. Porque con solo que no sea por la patria es suficiente, right? Thank you so much, Edwin. Now, guys, we're going to have here employees information. We have name, office, workplace, address, etc. We are going to write our own employees' information, okay? So 
todos en su cuaderno, en una página, en lo que sea que tengan por ahí, escriban su employee's information, así como la de Mauricio Quintanilla. I'm going to write my here, right? And I'm going to put my information, right? I'm going to put here, my name is Maricela Ramos, right? My phone number is 7744-2254. Right. My workplace is English Corporativo. My address, the address of the workplace, not mine, okay, is 93 Avenue, right? Colonia Escalón, right. San Salvador. Job position. English teacher, department, teaching department, ID, my ID is one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have an ID, right? No, no, dan ID, fíjense, ya le puedo decir que me dan uno. So we have their ID, one, two, three, four, five. This is my information, okay? Ahora, hay en cosas que nos vamos a fijar. Las direcciones, las direcciones en inglés. En Estados Unidos ya tenemos lugar, ya vamos a ver direcciones en un momento. De 9 a 10 no podemos ver direcciones. En Estados Unidos las direcciones son bien particulares, tienen nombres en inglés, okay? Las direcciones en El Salvador están en español y se mantienen tan, tal cual, okay? No puedo poner ahí escalón neighborhood, que sería colonia, is neighborhood. No lo voy a poner así, porque imagínense que manden un paquete de allá de Estados Unidos con una dirección toda rara, que me la tradujeron de inglés a español, de español a inglés. Nunca me va a llegar el paquete, jamás, de los jamás. Right? So, addresses will keep the same. Las direcciones se van a mantener de la misma forma. Yo ahí le puse avenida solo para practicar la palabra avenida, pero debe decir... 93 Avenida, no sé qué, no me acuerdo. Colonia Escalón, San Salvador, right? The addresses are in Spanish, okay? Ahora, cuando nosotros aprendamos a dar direcciones, vamos a aprender a dar direcciones no a los salvadoreños, sino que en americano, right? So it's going to be different. ¿Se entiende el cambio que vamos a hacer? Para que no vean esas medidas. Teacher, ¿y cómo traduzco...? Cantón, eh, Tepecoyo, no, no se traduce, así lo dejo. Cantón Tepecoyo es Cantón Tepecoyo. Yo vivo en el Cantón El Copinol, es Cantón El Copinol. ¿Right? ¿Está clear? Yes, ok. Very good, thank you. So, what are we going to do here? Ya tenemos nuestros cars. Did you, did you write your cars? ¿Ya escribieron su información? ¿Ya la tienen? Yes. Okay. I need you. Yo tengo la mía, pero ahorita me voy a inventar otra. Right. ¿Qué pregunta me haría eh, Sofía Carolina para saber mi nombre? ¿Usted quiere saber mi nombre en inglés? ¿Qué pregunta me va a hacer? What's your name? My name is Juanita de Los Ángeles Martínez. <laughs> um, what? Offices. What? What office? What office? Mm, no, I don't understand. Do you need my phone number? ¿Cómo preguntaría en mi teléfono? What's your cell phone? <laughs> What's your cell phone? Okay. What's your phone number? Repeat. What's your phone number? What? What's your phone number? What's your phone number? Repeat. What's your phone number? There you are. What's your phone number? My phone number is 504-774329. Okay. Sofía, ¿cómo me preguntaría a mí, Ramón Antonio, dónde trabajo?
-huh. Ramón, ¿cómo me preguntaría dónde trabajo? Estoy pensando. <risa> ok. Cerremos los ojos, tranquilos. Un momento. <risa> Si ven humo por ahí, ¿por qué me está quemando la cabeza? Ok. ¿Qué Where do you work? Where do you work? Ah. I work at Inglés Corporativo. Repita, Ramón. Where do you work? Where do you work? Ok. I work at Inglés Corporativo. Very good. Evelyn, pregúnteme dónde queda mi trabajo. No lo escucho. ¿Dónde queda su trabajo? Sí. ¿Cómo creen que me puede preguntar? Eh... Where do you address work? Ok, muy cerca, muy cerca. Esa pregunta no la hemos visto, así que hoy la vamos a practicar. Or... Vamos a utilizar la palabra... Ajá. Uh -huh. Work. Um, ¿Alguien tiene una idea? Uh -huh. What is your work address? What is your work address? Very good. What is your work address? Escríbale en el chat, Mr. Lino. What is your work address? What is your work address? My work address is uh, 93 Avenue, Colonia Santanita, eh, San Sebastián, San Vicente. Right? Luego, pregúnteme, José Antonio, por mi profesión. How would you ask that? What is your job position? What is? What is your, your job position? What is your job position? That is one. What is your job position? But what could be another one? What is your job position? Escríbale, está muy bueno. Escríbale, escríbale, escríbale. ¿Cuál es la otra que podemos practicar? What do you do? What do you do? Very good. What do you do? I am an English teacher. What is your job position? English teacher. Right? English teacher. Now, let's see here. We have the questions from Carlos and Antonio. Now, the last one, no, then it says teaching department. How would you ask that? William, what me preguntaría? What? No. Which? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. What is your number ID? What is your ID number? Para el último, muy bien. What is your ID number? Excellent, right? For the last one. And for teaching department, ¿cómo preguntarían? Para saber en qué departamento estoy. What do you department? 
Okay. What department? Okay, what department do you work in? Esa es nueva. What department do you work in? Tenemos cuántas preguntas nuevas? What department do you work? Do you work in? Oops, what? Al inicio es what, señores. What, what, what? What department do you work in? I work in teaching department. Okay. I work in teaching department. Now, are we clear with this? ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a trabajar, chicos y chicas, con nuestra, con nuestra información. Ok. Ya tenemos las preguntas, ya sabemos cómo responder. Vamos a hacer un ejemplo antes de irnos para que veamos lo que vamos a hacer. Vamos a, a, a responder y a preguntar. No van a ir a anotar nada y solamente a practicar las preguntas y las respuestas. ¿Okay? Esta es práctica. Veamos, William, pregunte, me gustan las preguntas. Yo le voy a responder. Ok. Um... What's your name? My name is Marimar del Castillo. Okay. What's your telephone office? Mm, no usamos esa pregunta. No la copié. <laughs> ah, no se preocupe, Sofía le va a decir cuál es. ¿Cuál es la pregunta, Sofía? What? What number? What? No, hay que anotar. What is your telephone number? What is your telephone number? Or what is your phone number? Okay. What is your phone number? Muy bien. Se sigue preguntando, William. ¿No me ha preguntado? Sí, este, no solo este, el teléfono, eh, no importa si es personal o del trabajo. What's your phone number? It's 7203-9164. Okay. Eh, where do you work? I work at uh, Wendy's Corporation. Okay. Because I like hamburgers. Okay. What What is your work address? My work address is Calle Cicimiles in front of uh, the gas station. I, I work in Metro Centro San Salvador. Okay. Um, what do you do? I know. Um, what do I what? do? I am a, I am a cook. Okay. La última no la, no, no la tengo tampoco. Okay, Evelyn, what's the last one? What department do you work in? What department do you work in? I work in the cooking department. I work in the cooking department. Escríbala. Escríbala en el chat. Ah, no, ya le escribí yo, perdón. And the last one? What is your number ID? What is your ID number? ID the number. What is your ID number? Very good, thank you so much. What is your ID number? Excellent. So, we got there, right? Our example, we're going to ask questions. Okay, this is what they're going to do. They're going to go to practice how to ask and how to answer. Do you understand what we're going to do? Yes. Okay, just confirm that. 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 Y la señorita Brito. Señorita Brito todavía está de oyente. Voy a salir. Ahí está. 
¿Dónde está? Ok. Well, we have here. We're going to make the groups. Vamos a trabajar en equipos. 